Okay, I'm officially giving up. Do you see this huge acne spot that I could not even cover with foundation? And I'm not even on my period. This is like too much. <laughs> It's been officially one year and tread annoying. Oh my god, one year and as you see in my mood, I'm not really satisfied with the results. If I could describe my feelings with one word, it would be frustration. <laughs> if you follow in my week by week updates, you probably know already that I've been struggling. My acne just came after my travel and they, they just never left. March, April, May, I had like perfect skin it looked like filter everything was so good and then like they just took it away from me <laughs> and now i'm dealing with this again and i feel like oh my god i should probably say the skin that i have right now even though i have acne spots it's still so much better than skin that i had before like you can see it on screenshots so whatever i'm gonna say like about downsides of everything and my frustration it's not like so much frustrations it's just like expectations did not meet the reality the reason why i started treading on from the beginning <laughs> is because i did not want to change my diet like when i was changing my diet when i was eating healthy and when like everything was super good with my body i would not get acne at all not post acne but i like cheating like cheat meal <laughs> I like eating bad stuff sometimes and sometimes I want to drink like a glass of wine, sometimes I want to eat some pizza, sometimes I want to eat some burgers because I'm a human being and I don't want to limit myself all my life. If you can see whatever happening on my face, it's because I can't freaking sustain <laughs> my diet and I always cheat milling on something. When I say strict diet, I really mean it. It's a lot of protein, no gluten, no sugar, no alcohol. I always also have to take care of my gut health to be able to take a lot of supplements. Before I would eat normal because I would use hormonal pills and would not have any symptoms. My skin looked good, but it was really bad for my body. Now I don't take pills anymore, my body way more healthy, but I need to have a strict diet. And girls, I love chips and barbecue sauce. This is torture for me. So I keep breaking up my diet and eat sushi or chips once a week and this is why my face is still getting acne spots. In case you didn't watch any of my previous videos, I have polycystic ovary syndrome. This is hormonal problem inside my body that led into a lot of troubles in my face, in my body, in my all like organs, inside organs. My hope was that retinoin could minimize this dieting thing, but it can't so I kind of feel a little disappointed. Of course, I didn't need to feel appointed from the beginning to not get disappointed after, but who knew, who knew? Let's go to the months by months update to see what actually was going on with my skin. I'm not going to describe everything in details. I did it in previous updates, but you can see how my face is changing. In month four, I had pretty good skin and tretinoin worked perfectly. Then in month five, everything went crazy when I went to travel and I started getting a lot of spots. After four months, I returned home and by month 10, my skin looking good again. In month 11, I destroyed my gut with supplements and my face was covered in acne again. My skin feels much better now, but I still need to fix my diet to stop this new acne to appear. And of course, for the comparison months by months. You probably have questions about my applications, maybe I'm doing something wrong, maybe I'm not doing enough, and that's true, I'm not truly doing enough. I'm still using the minimum amount of percentage of tretinoin the problem why it's not working so effectively and I'm still not using it daily because when I was using it daily my skin didn't feel comfortable at all and I don't want to get accustomed to this um, dry itchy feeling on my face it's not so itchiness it's more I can call it discomfort on my face I still plan to feel my night threading on routine I know it's been a year and I'm still planning <laughs> to film my trading oil night routine. I'm, I'm on my way. I'm, I, I promise it's gonna be soon on my channel uh, because I'm doing skin cycling and it's just like different things. It's not fitting in this one video, so I need to film separate video about that. Sometimes people ask me like, 
you need to go to the doctor, you need to check yourself to trust. <laughs> I did check myself. I was checking myself for 10 years and more now already. Like it's been 16 years since I've been diagnosed with polycystic ovary syndrome. And I know everything about my body. I know my levels of B vitamins, D vitamins, iron, uh, like um, every, I know, I know everything. <laughs> I have gastritis, like all of this stuff. I know everything and I know like the reasons that causing acne. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe like what's happening right now uh, with my face is actually a good version of what it could be because I can definitely say that whatever I was doing the past months with my diet, it was <laughs> opposite of what I was supposed to do. Maybe my body is having really big hormonal issues right now and without retinoin it would be way worse. Last time I had big disbalance, I had way bigger acne attacks, so I'm not doubting that retinoin is playing a big role in this acne healing journey. It could be way worse. I just want my skin to be good already. Finally. Am I gonna keep using Tridenoin? 100% yes, because it's not only for acne, it's like anti-aging effect at all in general. And I saw a lot of videos on YouTube with names, don't give up too early, don't give up on Tridenoin, just look at this uh, results after five years, like six years. And I really wanna see what's gonna happen to with my skin. It's not bothering me at all to apply Tretinoin every other day at night. It's not a lot of work. It's not like I need to spend hours on this. This is just like one real quick application before going to bed. So I'm definitely gonna keep using Tretinoin and I'm gonna keep filming updates, long updates, like year and a half, two years, two years and a half, three years, but I'm definitely gonna stop filming short uh, weekly updates. The reason why I wanna stop filming weekly short updates because nothing really happening. There is nothing to tell about my skin. From the beginning, when I just started filming these updates, I actually was seeing differences like every single week, like purge, then like I burned, then something happened again, and then like my skin got good, and then I got new purge again. So the things was developing so like fast, so quickly, and my skin was changing so quickly, and we wanted to see this smooth transition. Right now, like nothing is happening. Every time I feel, I'm just acne, 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 like nothing's going on. From now on, I'm gonna start updating like every six months and see what's gonna happen to my skin and it's gonna be more material i hope i didn't disappoint you in this video and you decided not to use tretinoin at all <laughs> i hope i did not give this vibe to you i still think it's pretty effective tool i like how my skin look in general this you can see it's kind of glowing it's looking nice just freaking acne spots <laughs> all of a sudden from nowhere and if you did not watch it yet you should definitely watch my whole tread annoying playlist see you in the next video love yourself bye